adventure of the small kitchen. I learned that making a boba or a pearl for a milk tea has some methods that needs to be followed. First is the weather. Second is the brand of the tapioca starch that you're going to use. And the 30-30 method. And lastly, your patience. Wait for the brown sugar and water to simmer and then lower your heat and add in half of your tapioca starch and you have to mix that in within 60 to 90 seconds until it dissolves. Once it is dissolved, you would have to put the rest of your tapioca starch while you have already turned off the heat and mix it all together you would have to be precise and quick with this method because if it doesn't cook really well it will not form into a dough which you can make into a pearl or boba you would have to reach in somewhat kinda like of this texture if it's gonna be starchy you would have to repeat the process because you won't be able to form a dough this is where the weather comes in place if the weather is too hot you would have to wait uh, for a while to mold a dough and if it's gonna be cold, you would have to be quick because it will harden too much. If you have this kind of consistency of the dough, you can break this in into four pieces and roll it out into a baton. And cut it into a small squares and mold it into a circle to form a pearl. Just a tip for you, you have to cut this into small squares for you to be able to form a small circle because if it's gonna be a bigger circle or a bigger pearl, um, the cooking time will be longer. Just continue molding this with the rest of your dough. Once you have finished molding your dough, just toss it in a bowl with some tapioca starch and toss it all in together. Once everything is coated, you would have to sift that to remove the excess tapioca starch in the dough before we cook this. Heat a pan with the water and let it boil. Remember to only put your tapioca pearls when the water is boiling. The 30-30 method comes in. Cook this for 30 minutes and afterwards let this rest for additional 30 minutes.
While your pearls are cooking, we will now going to make our brown sugar syrup. Toss in your brown sugar, water, and just mix that in until it dissolves. When the brown sugar is dissolved, just take some drops in a bowl or in a plate and just check the consistency of your syrup and it should be this kind of uh, syrupy. When you reach that kind of consistency, just turn off the heat and let this rest. Once you reach the 30 minute mark, turn off your heat and let your pearls rest for 30 minutes. By this time, you can check your pearls if it's already cooked inside. You will know your pearls are cooked. It will turn out to be transparent and once you taste it, it will not be starchy. Since I made my pearls a little bit bigger than the regular size, I have to repeat the 30-30 method again. But before you do that, you would have to drain this and wash this over cold running water before you put it again in a boiling water to cook it again for 30 minutes. Just another tip, if you are using a ready-made uh, pearls, you will still have to use the 30-30 method for cooking it. While waiting for the second set of the 30-30 method, we will now going to make our milk tea. I have put in 2 cups of regular milk. Your milk shouldn't be boiled. You will just have to heat this for a couple of minutes before it simmers. You can use whatever type of milk you want according to your preferred option. You may use loose leaf tea or just a regular tea bag. Um, you should use the black one which is has more flavor for milk tea. Turn off the heat and let your tea bag sit for about 2 minutes in the hot milk. Remove the tea bags and transfer your milk tea into a glass or jar. Set this aside to cool down. Once our pearls are cooked, you may transfer it to our brown sugar syrup and mix it all together. Assemble your milk tea and enjoy! You see, it's only technical at first, but the rest of the ingredients or the process is easy. Just another tip for you guys, if you want some pearls ahead of time, after you have molded your dough into a pearl, you can store it in an airtight container and freeze it indefinitely. Come on and whip up this! milk tea recipe especially during summer season i hope you enjoy this video i would love to hear your comment in the comment section below give this a like 
share this video for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!